Now then, you two just had a quick look through the agents and whatever. Nothing interesting at all. There's the table. We're now second. And you see we've got City next. So, unless we perform superbly, we might be dropping a bit further down the table. Full faith in my team, but it's never easy. First team's fully fit. I have to make a couple of changes to the bench. But besides that, we are good to go. Won at the Etihad last season, but I'll tell you what. You can bet your bottom dollar City aren't going to let that happen again today. Last season we were uh, finished 13th or 14th in the table. I think 13th. 12th or 13th. 13th, I think. So they didn't take us seriously. Now look where we are in the table. We're above them. Oh dear. Give a sec. Lovely. Manchester City and they take on Derby County. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality. It's an interesting matchup and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Madonna. They are pressure. blocking absolutely everything. But fortunately, at the moment, there we are. So are we. And then they do. We're very frantic and aggressive start. Wonderful chance. Can they cover up? Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. So let's have a look I mean, out of 20 games, we've only won 12. We've got like a 60% win rate, and we're second. It's been a really... I mean, to be fair, we'd be fourth or fifth if it was real-life Premier League with our everyone's performance. Haaland, put back too many. Golos as well. Siankov. Lovely ball to Everico. Lovely. Dubois. Tries that fucking more often than not, Yannick Dubois. Nearly, nearly pulls it off about twice, I'd say, but overall, the vast majority of time. It's shit. Is that Musiala? Yes, it is. Musiala, Foden, fucking hell. Matt Seema, fantastic. Fantastic is Ricky. Siankov. Take a throw. I love free kick. And rightly so, a yellow card for Trinkau. Well, he's gone into the books. Well, he was late, and he deserved a booking for that. Conte. Conte, well done. That's a fucking shit from Anana. After a defeat last time out against Brighton and Hove Albion, how might this one go, Stuart? Fantastic from Santos. Jurasek, Matsima. It's awful. Passing again, really off from here. Really disappointed. Santos, fantastic. Ricky, and again there. Nothing of the sort where I'm aiming the pass. Solid at the back so far for the opening half an hour. But in um, terms of passing, the, uh, the game has just been very scripted indeed. Passing nowhere near where I'm aiming it. Infuriating, but then, you know, we're getting very good. Santos, win it. Fucking no chance. We've been, despite sorry, I'll finish that sentence off in a minute. I need to concentrate. Santos, fantastic. Despite the fantastic tackling, was what I was going to say. You can't say it's not been coming. Because really they bend us back completely. Lovely from Ebrico. Dubois! Well Probably shouldn't have hit that, but so didn't trust anyone else. Well, not the best 
Everton was always likely to catch that one. It's always a shame. Oh, I mean, obviously, ideally, I was wanted to win the Brighton game, but there's no. Oh, oh he's lost possession of the ball. Well done, Onana. He's managed to lose his marker. The game against Brighton, the last the game the you want only the one to be able to bounce back and get a result is away at the Etihad because it's probably the toughest place to come to. If you've had a bad defeat, you could be to the Etihad. You'd, you'd, it's the least likely place you're, you're going to bounce back and get that that result. Oh. Sweeties! Let's have a sour watermelon. Sugar rush for the second half, let's do it. Fucking need some of Because I'll be honest, if we look at the stats, I'm expecting very little. Yeah, two shots. Oh, we have more shots than them. Back underway here into the second half. They've been shit, but one thing I didn't look at was possession. I'll tell you what. This game's a lot more even than I thought. Mind you, City have been far from impressive. It's just that fucking man right in Ireland. There he is again, just everywhere. Took him out and he still scored. I mean, at least he's not, because he would have got sent. I've tried to do a last ditch tackle. Luciano there, let me see. So many <sighs> he hit it. I prefer if he didn't have hit it. I think I'd have got the touch. <laughs> was on his ass. Played, tried to play the quick ball, Luciana. but he was on his ass. But yeah, two 0 down against Brighton. We're two 0 down here against City. Could get worse. Musiala, well done, Becker. What the fuck? Well, offside, fair enough. He's just failing to bend the wrong enough, and the flag has been raised. Oh, he's really up on the mark here. Well, lovely. Credit to them for winning back possession. No, not to be today. Disappointing. One game I do want to fucking uh, make a, you know, come back in. I mean, that was a good start to the recording. One nil against Southampton. Two disappointing defeats. Very disappointing defeats. Three nil, Man City. This can happen against this team, and unfortunately, today, to be fair, we very rarely get humiliated by Man City. This looks like it'll be the first time for us. And they fucking won it back again. At their very best, Santos and Mens. Making progress. Nothing in the box. Everico's cross was shit as well, so. Lucas Verissimo. Uh, class all around the pitch playing rounders. Quite often. When we've played them, this been s we've shocked them with our press, but they've played oh, round us every good. single fucking time. The cunts, four nil. It's getting embarrassing now. It's re really mad when you think about it, because where we were last season, league position-wise, how much we improved this season. But you wouldn't think it. You think it were rolls reverse. Last season we finished. We were 11 places lower than we are now, and they we beat them, in fact. But now we are above them in the league, and, well, you would not think it. You'd think they were top and we're bottom with this performance. Haaland, ball in, Ricky, and now he's been fouled. That should be it's a corner. Don't know why, because that's a stonewall foul. I mean, game's been scripted as well. Of course it has. I just we don't even need to bother saying that. Now. It just goes without saying. Um, but, yeah. Go look, Kante. Still got a bit of, bit of energy left in those 35 year old legs. And Dubois, we know, still has a decent shot, but let's make subs. All in all, it's just been.
shit today. Really has. And they will make the change now. But who's going to get on the end of it? Dubois. Oh, great header. Smart shot though. That hasn't come to very much. Chibli. No problem. Really poor cross. See what I mean there? That cross. That was nowhere near where I aimed it. But yeah, chance just before. Ref simply blocked off the Edison. Kill Erling Haaland. Oh, this is looking promising. You can't even get near, not even if you want to. Foden. Can Foden, though, no, stood there like 11. He must have heard me. He said, shut up, I'm no lemon. Marquinhos. And unfortunately Thought you were offside. But you can never be sure on this game. That Santos. That was a swiftly across field dive to the left winger. Instead, it's comfortably into the hands of Edison. Where we can hopefully, very shortly, yes, only two minutes injury time. End the absolute humiliation. Oh, fuck off. Found a pocket of space. Yeah! At least deck the cunt before it finishes. Um, but yeah, worryingly, two games in a row, two, de uh, two defeats in a row. That's not the worrying thing, because that can happen. The worrying thing, excuse me, is we've lost the game's aggregate 6-0. Little threat, excuse me, little threat up front and very dodgy at the back. So up next for the final episode of this mini recording session, we're going to be playing Walsall and we hope to come back from a disappointing run of results. Two defeats in the last two games. Ooh. But before we go, I've been scouting a couple of players. Let's have a fucking cheeky little goosey gander. Well, let's have a look at some of these as well on here. 66, no good. 67, no good. Nunes. Look like it could be okay. To you. That's to you. Could be shit. And if they are, yes. The ages they are, I don't want them. Well, I'll leave them a bit longer. Transfer hub. None of them are good enough. Remove. 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 Look into them. 19 years old, 84 rated. We're buying him. We're straight up buying him. got a new first choice left back five years he's only 19 years of age fantastic we don't want to release cause I'm happy with that he only wants 25k fuck it yeah welcome to the club and Suarez new signing and what a signing 84 rated free agent 19 years of age what a spot it's immense Absolutely fantastic. Brito as well looks like he could be good. 18, only 71 rated. These are other players we're just looking into. Uh, squad. Cruises, obviously. 25. Jurasek is 26. Ambeth is retiring. Where are you? Suarez there. That'll do. And on that note, it's time to end. 
with a very pleasant surprise ending of a new signing. And I'll see you next episode for Warsaw. Cheers. Take care.